Well, hello everyone, this is Laboratory Tech 13 here from the Riptide Project Laboratory, and today we've got another great Magic the Gathering arena stream for you. We are going to be doing some quick constructed ladder climb, going to be playing through with a bunch of different decks, seeing what we can get through on the meta, seeing what's going on with other people's decks that are they've been building, of course, with gems and with gold, and basically going to try to earn some of the quests and stuff that have been happening over the weekend. Uh, we have been earning a lot of different cards and things like that, and we're going to try to make things uh, better, basically, in our decks uh, and show you, basically, how other decks are put together. So, welcome to the stream, everybody else that are watching us. Of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, welcome on there. I know there's a lot of people that uh, have subscribed to me on my YouTube channel on Riptide Project Laboratory. And, of course, I thank everyone who comes to watch us and checks out all the different types of content that we have at Riptide Project Laboratory. Now... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here by uh, basically rerolling a quest here. I don't think some of these quests will be able to be uh, done that well, and I'd rather get something that's 750 gold instead of 500. So let's reroll this one, see if we can get a 750, and of course we were rolling out a 500. So green and blue spells. We'll probably try to reroll that one tomorrow. We'll get our basic gold wins for the day. Those were set daily. We'll try to get our pack wins as well, so we can open some more cards from Dominaria to add to our collection. Uh, and if you've got any questions at all, uh, uh, anything at all that's been going on uh, with you in Magic the Gathering world, or any other cool things that you'd like to know, just let me know. I do know about some of the cool stuff that's been happening today. I know that Battle Bond cards have been going out to people to be spoiled, so that's going to be very exciting for next week. We'll probably do some Quicken episodes on that stuff when that drops. And uh, the Great Designer Search 3 is now continuing, uh, so maybe we'll do some videos on that and cover that stuff as well. If you're really into how uh, cards get... Uh, <clears throat> if you're really into how cards get created, then uh, I would definitely take a look at this when they post those videos or post the articles online. Mark Rosewater has been looking at to do this for quite some time now. I also was in the Great Designer Search myself, so I know a little bit about the process and how it works. So we've got some good uh, entertainment here for you. Now, uh, what we're going to do is get everything started here. We're going to post basically on social media that we've got everything going. Uh, everything that has been now, of course, playing as well. Uh, and of course, we'll be playing all the way till 10 o'clock. So if you've got that going on and you want to check out us and help, and basically help hang around and watch us play, we will be able to show you exactly what's going on. So if you have taken a look and seen what is going on with our stream, we are already in a quick structed league. We're trying to run our Red White Historic deck. You may be familiar with this deck. This is my pet deck, my favorite deck that I'm trying to make work on Arena. Now, unfortunately, it can't be as good as my actual standard deck that I have, that I've taken two uh, 4-0 wins at FNM <clears throat> because there aren't Kaladesh cards. And those cards actually add a lot of value, a lot of good uh, uh, stuff to the deck, including... The ability to draw cards off SRAM, which we do not have in Kaladesh, but I'm assuming it's coming very soon in Kaladesh as well. All right. But we're going to go ahead and get started here and try to play a match. We know people want to see what's going on. We might actually jump back into this with a different deck too. 
we'll play a bunch of matches today and make just basically have some fun. So can come and chat with me, come sit with me, and let's let's play some games together on the stream. I want to thank all the people that have subscribed from last time. Of course, Cubs fan Junior, Loopy Larry, Maldivere, Arcaterian 86, and the rest. We're actually still looking to push towards 20 subscribers. Uh, we dropped back down to about 16. We had 19 this last weekend, so some other people who had stopped subscribing, of course. We really appreciate uh, all the people who have the ability to subscribe, and if you can't continue on with subscribing, that's of course uh, just fine as well. Our opponent goes first. We have two Legions landing and a Seal Away and a Lightning Strike. This actually seems pretty good, so I guess we'll stop. We'll, we'll start with this, and we'll continue on. Let's uh, Legion landing. That's Redshift 2K5. Welcome to the stream, Redshift 2K5. You are one of my favorite regulars. How is your day going? How is your week going? Super elite, huh? Well, let's uh, hit the combat here. Hit that damage. I think. Once I cast a spell, once I cast another Merfolk, I'm going to drop the Lightning Hammer on their creature. My week is messed up. Yeah, my weekend was actually pretty bad. Um, it was not that good. It was, it was, I had a lot of personal issues this weekend. And I had to work through that, and it was really rough. And I worked through it, so now I'm a bit better but uh, it's definitely been quite a week for me. My, my week is messed up working two-hour night shifts. Tw oh, 12-hour night shifts. Yeah, well, that really sucks, too. I know what that's like. I think we're going to drop the quarry here. We've got our 1-1. One, one. I really want to drop, uh, hmm, drop something good here. Not too sure. Like, I kind of want to drop into the Legion's Landing just so I can get another creature, but I don't know. Like, I think we'd rather wait. Just starting the night. All the work is way less busy than one last... That's pretty good. That's real good. At least it's not too busy, so you're not sitting there going, Oh, wow, I wish I was just dead or at home. So, of course, welcome everyone to the stream that are chilling in the chat. Redshift 2K5 and Slow Cool. Got to stay hydrated, bot. Chilling around, making us feel cool. That's a Vizier of the Menagerie. Attack with your bro, sure. Uh, let's seal away your adept. Get that out of here. Oh, we got Valduke! Ooh, baby! Oh, Valduke. You just know what to do, Valduke. You know how to make it work with the creatures you got, Valduke. So I kind of want to, like, attack here. See if they block. Hit him with the lightning strike. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, all right. So they ain't gonna fall for it. So let's drop a black blade. Let's drop a legion's landing. I think that'll be the best, uh, best setup here. Drop them the legion's landing. Yes, I'm okay with it. Let's keep a legion's landing. Leave back a one one, and let them go. Hinterland Harbor, you play a land! Yeah! <clears throat> well, I guess we'll take three. Seems fine. Another seal away. Sick! Ah, oh, I think we drop it on the Vizier here. Like, that's just the plan, I believe. Like, I really want to drop it on the Vizier here. Yeah, because there's no way I'm going to be able to get to that unless I do it. Getting a bit bummed at Arena the last two weeks. Well, I'll tell you what, they have a... Uh, no attackers. They have a survey, so they're asking about your um, thoughts about Arena and basically how things are going to go for you and how you want it to go. So uh, they really want to know about how you think the wild cards are coming in too slow, if you think the rewards are too slow, stuff like that. And I really feel 
um, they will be able to help out with their uh, economy updates as they get into open beta. They really want to make it feel great. Oh, that's a Kamena and a Merfolk Mistbinder. Those things are huge. What the hell just happened? Uh, okay. I feel like we need to drop Valduk here, but the problem is, is their creatures are going to keep getting too big. So I think a Lightning Strike might just have to happen here. Because, well, we need Valduk so we can hit Jaya's Immolating Inferno, but the problem is we don't have enough lands. So I think we have to Lightning Strike here just in general so we can just stop their creature. Just get out of here. Okay, you didn't want to draw any cards? That's fine. Yeah, so Redshift 2K5, the problem is, is you don't have enough uh, cards to make other decks, right? And they want to fix that uh, so that way you can get enough cards and wild cards to play another deck. I, a lot of people are just thinking, well, you know, I could play their regular decks, but I can't really do much. It's not going to work for me. Oh, you know what? With Valduk, I feel like I want to just double block the, the Branch Walker here. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're okay with that. They're going to drop Tishana on me? That would be nuts, dude. So let's drop Balduke here. Seems like the best play here. And then we'll wait. Trickster, sure. Tap my, bot my guy? That's fine. Okay. Valduk's going to get the Black Blade next turn, so we're going to be able to hit. But the problem is, is we need Danatha. If we had Danatha, we could, we could fight against this Tyrant here. Oh, Song of Fraley's gross. That's going to get nasty. I'm not going to like that. Ow, that's a lot of damage. Ooh, now we can do Jaya's Immolating Inferno. I think that's going to be good. That's going to deal two to every creature. Mistbinder makes those creatures bigger, so yeah, that's what we gotta do. Six value for X. Two. Target, target, target. Goodbye! Goodbye to your creatures. There's nothing you can do. Goodbye to your creatures. They are gone too. See you later. They're like, oh, snap, son. This don't hurt real bad. I'm not going to attack. Next turn is going to be the, the crackback. We're going to put some short sword. We're going to put some black blade. You got to attack, I guess. No blocking. I'm good with taking two. Because once the black blade gets on him, it's, it's game over, son. Trickster, sure. Still in combat, he throws out dudes, so... They're gonna attack anyway. Or they don't? What, does he have to be tapped for that? Wait, what? How come he didn't make guys? That's... Oh, it turned off his ability. That's right. I mean, if you gotta attack, you gotta attack. Put me at two. Or four? That's weird. Why would you do that? I don't understand. So we don't even need to attack with him now. We already knew he drew, uh, Song of Freilis. This is gonna get this is gonna get crazy quick. I mean they have to block or they die? <clears throat> I feel like. Maybe I shouldn't attack with Hazaret. Because if they tap down my blockers. Yeah. We just need to attack with the three ones. Oh, they would have flipped the Legion's Landing. I'm mad. But see, I don't even need to attack now. I can just block for the rest of the game. Ooh, 
we could really use another Jai's Immolating Inferno here. Or, well, that wouldn't work that well either. No, definitely not Urza's Ruinous Blast, because Seal Aways would go away. That's definitely not something that we want. Not something we want at all. I'm, of course, going to be at GP Vegas on the June 15th weekend. So, of course, if you're watching the stream, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, if you want to come check me out and say hello, I will be there. Just check me out on the lab coat. I'll be walking around the whole GP wearing that to make it easy for you to find me. Kumeta wants to be unblockable. Oh, yeah. That's nasty. Wait, why would you do that? Your creatures are cannot attack. Unless... What? Huh? What? Combat. Are you just going to die? Like, I can just swing with Valduke, right? Okay. Oh, man. Merfolk Trickster is really messing me up, dude. Ah. Oh, Hazard can't attack because... Wow, this guy really, really got me good. I think we're dead. Yeah. The guy got me real good. With uh, with Kometa being unblockable, there was no way I can I can win there. I would basically needed to gain some life. So we just gave it to him. I mean, that's fine. We played some quick constructed. We already had two losses. It's okay. Uh, so we're going to add an extra loss to our game score for today. We keep a record. We like to people know, you know, when we're doing good, when we're not doing too good. It's a thing that happens. So we're at one loss. It's okay. I'm a little rusty with the deck uh, over the weekend. Had a lot of crazy weekend, basically. So our event rewards, we got Dead Eye Plunderers, we got Navigator's Room, and we got a Doctor Vanguard, which goes into our vault. We're actually pretty close to our vault. Well, sort of. 66%. Uh, we can get back into Quick Constructed. It's pretty cheap. It's 95 gems to get into. And we can get gold out of it, which is great. So it's a great way to turn gems into gold. I recommend doing that if you like it. So I feel like we can jump in there with our green-white aggro deck. Because it's super fast. It's hyper-aggressive, and it gets a lot of creatures out of the way. So let's jump in there with green-white aggro. Let's put that in our top thing. Oh, we have to actually play the matches, right? I was typing some stuff in the social medias. You know how it works. Speaking of that, I need to put another picture on Instagram. Fizz Prez. We're gold rank four. We're trying to get higher in our ranking. It could happen. You never know. Ooh, opponent goes first. Sacred Cat into Cartouche into Prepare seems really good. Let's keep that. Ow. Ow, that, that hurts. Let's put a sacred cat out. Branch Walker, sure. I think we will drop. Drop into the planes here, actually. Cartouche. Makes a guy. Combat attacks. Let's gain two life. You want to block? You don't want to block. It's a first striker. Take that two damage. It's not me. Why did you move the picture around? I guess won the turn here.
Yeah, so Wretched 2K5, I really think the deck that you want to make or another decks, but I, I will tell you they are listening and they will try to make it easier for people to do that. I know that's a big deal for a lot of people. I don't know if only two lands. That kind of sucks. Maybe we'll draw it. Like you just did. Combat attack me back, right? Sure, I'll take three. It's not a big deal. We also drew another lane. It's baffling in. We can get rid of the three two. Oh yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Kinda just wanna get rid of their rid rid of their Land of War elves. Yeah, let's get rid of Land of War elves. Make it harder for them to do stuff. Ah, oh, that tapped the mana wrong. Oh, I hate you so much. Auto tapper. Attack with a 3-2. Don't care about the blockers. Brazilian Kenra. Really? Really? I think we're going to pop it on our... Uh... Yeah, we're going to pop it on our cat. Seems pretty good. Nice. Want to take that 4? That four first strike? They definitely do. Oh, wait, do sheltering light on Burfall Branch Walker. Glorybringer? Woo! Okay. Oh, this is going to be awesome. You're going to love this. I love this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Attack with both so I can block. Neat. Okay. He's just landing. Ooh, sick. I'll put that up on there. Okay. That's fine. We're going to get an extra land this turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Look how hot this hand is. It's a hot hand. We got all the combat tricks here. Who's Dan? Who's blocking went where? Hmm. I think we untap. Yeah, I really want to kill the Merfolk Branch Walker here, so let's untap. Gain some life. I'm gonna drop another sacred cat. Yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. Dig it. I dig it, dig it, dig it. So we need another land, and then Brazilian Kenra comes back out. No, we need two more lands. Shoot. Don't like that that much. So they were really trying to ramp into Glorybringer here, which is okay. That's okay. That's another branch walker. You get a mountain. How about having a 2 1? I know you don't like that that too much. Struggle! Yeah, that's, I like how they had to waste that on that. It's pretty funny. Cool. Block my things, man! Okay. So, I would love them to use their Glory Ring and try to kill my creature. Because the Dante Vanguard is going to make this quick. 
Draw your lands. Yeah, five viewers, welcome to the stream. I'm, of course, your host, Laboratory Tech 13 of the Riptide Project Laboratory. We've got LabGuy97, Monster to Mash, Redshift 2K5, and Toothpaste Sandwich all checking us out. Thank you for joining our stream. We're trying to push and make lots of people understand that we are dedicated to that Magic the Gathering Arena sweet, sweet gameplay. You wanna, you wanna hit it? You wanna hit? It's really bad that you have to put out the glory bringer. We got another follower, Monster Master, followed us. Thank you for following us on our channel, Monster Match. We really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the damage. I mean, what else am I gonna do? Oh, look at that land. Noise. So combat. We're gonna attack with a beast. Wow, they're going to make us block both, aren't they? Well, that's fine. We'll pay the 8. Damage! I mean... Hash of Oasis only lets you do seven, and then I attack back and I get more life, so I don't know what you want, man. Attackers. Get in there! I'm gonna hit you back for seven. I'm gonna make a thing. Uh -huh. so next turn, I'm gonna hit you for two. We'll go back up to seven. Jade Light Ranger, no! Would you stop? Drew two lands! That's awesome! Nice! <laughs> oh, Sky Marcher can block Glory Bringer! Yeah! So we'll have to exert it. That's the best part. Alright. So combat attacks. Get him in there. Block one of my three ones. I don't care at this point. It's fine with me. Wait, hold up. Do I have enough? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I should have played it first. I'm so mad. That's okay. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, we can surprise block. Oh, it has flying anyway. Okay, sure. I think we got this. I don't think there's any way to stop it. Oh, wait, Hotship Oasis does, does enough damage. No! No! They've, I, I hate these games that keep coming down to one specific turn. You know that? Well, that's going to be another loss. Loss. A specific loss. It was close. Glorybringer is a thing, though. It's a good game. But can we get another win? I know we can. It's possible. We can do this. It just needs a lot more... Uh, you know, just a lot more faith that you can do it, right? Like, belief in yourself. Believe in yourself so that others can believe in you. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do here. <clears throat> Ooh, opponent goes first. We got Sacred Cat into Pride and Sky Marshal. That seems fine. Not as good as our last hand when our opponent's going first. And the problem is our opponents keep going first, which makes it harder for us to come back as an aggro deck because we start off, we get a bunch of stuff, and then they basically get to their big things faster than we can. <clears throat> oh, they went down to five. Yes, that's good for us. Play red, and it's mono red. So we'll drop the Sacred Cat here. Oh, they're going to Magma Spray it. Now that I just realized that. That's, that makes me feel bad, man. But we can ma Scar Marcher into Cartouche next turn. Burning Fist Minotaur. That one is First Strike? Is this First Strike? It's First Strike! 
What? Hmm. I guess we could attack and then prepare it. Right? That would help. Okay. Alright, we'll just chill like that, see what happens. See what they kill of our, our creatures, right? If they kill our creatures. Who knows? Lightning strike! It's coming! Yeah, it makes a prowess. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, let's let some damage there. Let that damage through. It's okay. It okay. So, let's drop a Chef at Dunes here. Um, let's get back a Sacred Cat, I think. Do some combat. How about you take some damage? Hmm? How about you take damage? How about you? Got any more removal, do you? Draw some more removal? Could happen. Wizard's Lightning deals three damage to a target. Oh, they have a wizard. The Soul Scar Mage is a wizard. That's a wizard. Um, yeah, sure, that's fine. I'm okay with that. And it dies. And they'll attack. And we'll be too lava. Okay. They got a 2 2 with haste. Attackers. I think we want to. I think we want to. Yeah. I think we want to grab the 2 1 here. Yeah. I'm going to eat that. So, I mean, just a push of the life total here. Yeah, that seems better. Ooh, appeal to authority. Sick. Like that a lot. We're gonna catch some cats here first. Yeah. Oh, put him down to ten. That's how you do it. Goblin Chain World right here, right, right here would be ridiculous top deck, but they don't have it, so that's fine. We'll take the three. Okay with that. Nice. Uh, since they know we got authority, they're not just gonna. Yeah, they're gonna not do that. Okay, so we've got what five, six, seven, eight. We could do a fight here if we wanted to, but I don't think we need to. Wow, we need to get one more permanent, and then we can get Pride of Conquerors going off. So I think we're just attack here to gain some life back. Yeah, basically that's what we're going to do. And actually what we can do to save our creatures now if Chain Wheeler comes out is Pride of Conquerors. So that should help out a lot. Hazaret! Hello! Neat. I wouldn't attack with everything. Uh, okay, I guess you want to. 7, 8. I mean, they're dead if they do that. Good game. I attacked back for five. Yeah, there you go. That's basically how you do it. You just attack back. You just keep hitting face. That's all you need to do is just keep hitting face. You know. Well, of course, we've got OPT in the, in the chat as well. Welcome to the stream. We're trying to get some gold. We're trying to get some quick instructed. We're trying to earn some more money for our drafts next weekend. So that way we can have two free drafts, just like we did the previous weekend. We're trying to earn that money. Earn that gold. I think we can do it. I'm fairly certain we can do it. The problem is, is we keep getting quests that are 500 gold instead of 700 gold, 750. So we're going to try to make this work. Get enough gold for the weekend. Got a lot of gems too, so we can keep entering into our quick constructed to do it. Uh, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue here. Oh, we got Son One X has followed us, or we can call them Sonics. I'm pretty sure that's how you want to be called. So, thank you for following us, Sonics. We really appreciate the follow for the stream. And of course, if you want to help us out, uh, we have got uh, beta keys to be given away on Saturday. And if you subscribe to the channel, we get to 20. That will actually put us and give us four beta keys to give away instead of two. 
So, of course, it helps us out with our channel, keeps the lights on, gives us a chance to give even more giveaway stuff for our people who subscribe to the chat, and you get an extra entry into our giveaways when they happen. So, uh, it, there's a lot of benefits to be had for following us and being part of the Lab Team Pro. Uh, I go first. So, we've got Sacred Cat, Sacred Cat, prepare. This is okay. We just need to draw a green so we can do appeal to authority. Really love that card, too. One of my favorite cards. I actually have a uh, deck uh, list for Appeal to Authority on YouTube. So if you haven't watched my YouTube channel and checked out the deck list and stuff like that, it's pretty sweet. So I'm dropping to the planes. We're going to combat. Deal that damage. Drop our another Sacred Cat. And let them go. I think we're just going to have to cycle cast out here because we need another land. And it's not going to get used. Black green. No! Uh-huh. They really don't have anything to play, do they? Cast out. Cycle. Uh-huh. Draw green would be nice. Oh, there's a chef at Dunes. Okay. I guess. Combat, go! So if they kill our creature, we can just bring it back. I don't think it's worth using prepare on. Like, I think it's just too much... Like, to save it, it would be too much. Like, we want to use it basically as a combat trick. You kill one, I bring it back, it's fine. You take you take one one life. Sure. And then we bring back the sacred card. That seems fine. We need a green. We need a green so we can put out branch walker. Like, where is it? Where's the branch walker? Seeker Squire, sure. You can play that card, that's fine. I guess. Kendra Shoot Dryad, gross. Definitely don't want to see that. Actually, the unknown. Sure. Well, it becomes 3 4. Well, that's annoying. Ooh, Cartouche of Solidarity, that's exactly what I wanted to draw. Combat. Block it. Sick, yo. Cool. I'm gonna untap it and make it bigger. Good job there, uh, saving your creature, bro. They're like, wait a minute, what just happened? Yeah, I hit you with the the uh, <laughs> the prepare to fight, man. That's in this deck. It's super hot. We need a green. We can do some appeal to authority shenanigans. I'm probably thinking, like, yeah, I just killed that creature, man. This is gonna suck. Because I ain't got no lands. And I know what that's like. Let's grab the Sacred Cat out again. It's back. Back again. Sacred Cat for the win. Yeah, we'll take that. We need a green, man. We need the green. Green team. Ravenous Chupacabra? Oh, I'm sure you've got the Ravenous Super Cup. But welcome else to the stream. We got six more viewers now. Of course, we got more people that have, that will come in and watch us from the Magic the Gathering channel, but also our subscribers, also our followers, also the people who raided us uh, last Wednesday. We have raids that happen. Tashana's Wayfinder. You can play that card and get a land out of that. Or a Merfolk Branch Walker. Sure. My turn. Legion's landing. Hell yeah. We're definitely swinging this turn. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. So they're going to block, but we're going to also pry to conquerors here. So we can get some extra damage in. They're like, oh man, does he have like another prepare to fight? That would blow me out. And they'll be like, well, you know, you're not wrong. Just don't block. Okay, you block. Sure, try to conquerors. All right, so we're definitely continuing to make a bunch of creatures now. But the problem is, is they got tender shoot dryad, and we have no way to get rid of that unless we get a cast out or something. Which is gonna make it really hard. I'm entering the unknown. Gross. You want to attack me back for three? I'm at thirty-one. There's another planes. So many planes, where's our green mana, man? Come on, dude. 
I guess we just skip the turn here. Yep. And we need green. Where's our green? We need green mana! What's going on? Enter the unknown. Yeah, you do that. You reveal another one. That's pretty funny, actually. Creatures just keep getting bigger. We hit that combat. Okay. We make a guy. I'm actually okay with taking seven here. Got a lot of life total to just throw around. Another planes? Are you serious? Where's our green? Shepetunes can pop off for four. Makes our creatures bigger. Are we at? We're at Pride of Conquerors hitting for plus three, plus three. So we can actually do some blocks next turn. Um, and make a creature, right? We can do both. Ooh, that's so sick. Yeah, we're going to do that. Blow them out. That should be fun. Yeah, attack with all my creatures. Let's gain that life back. Damage. Hey, you got the problem of I'm also attacking you back. Wait, was that lethal? They were at 50. No, it'll be lethal next time. 3, 3, 3, 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12. No, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, sure. Oh, well, you got a land of War Elves. You're going to get a land for Tender Shoe Dryad, but you might be dead beforehand. I think they just want to block now. Vanquish the weak? Come on, man. Make another creature. Yeah, he did. Come on. Attack us. Attack us both. Come on, do that. Do that thing. No! That's also Vanguard. Oh, do we wait? No, because they're going to have the Land of War Elves. They're going to have another blocker. we got to attack this turn. Because then that puts them at two, right? We kill one of the creatures, one of our creatures dies. So two would die, we'll have two, and then we can play another creature afterward, right? Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Combat. Attack. Yeah, we have enough to make Pride of Conquerors hit for plus two, plus, plus two, plus two. So we're going to hit for six, so we'll go down to four. Yeah, okay, so Pride's going to gonna double us up. Uh-huh. They're going to hit for a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so then we're going to drop another Vanguard afterward. Seems pretty good. We'll you got to put out more of the creatures, man. I don't know if you're going to win. Probably not. You're probably not going to win. You got too much. Yep. Appeal to authority. Like, a green right now would, would win us the game. Where's the forest? That's not a forest. Come on, bro. Shepard Dunes will get us in. He'll have to block. He'll have to block a Dono Vanguard, too. So he's definitely going to lose the Land of War Elves on this run through. And then we'll go down to... Yeah, yeah. He's got to lose the Land of War Elves, so... Papa Bros. Combat. Get them all in there. Really? I guess. It becomes indestructible. Wow. That was the bad blocks. Like, if you switch that around, that would have been a lot better because I... Well, no. Because I wouldn't actually have paid the four. I don't think you have this. Like, you have Tender Shoe Dry and it's going to make a thing. But I still have a guy. Like, you'll take one damage. Braska's Contempt. Go up to four? Sure. Appeal to Authority still gets me the game. Oh, there it is! Right? Appeal gives me plus two, plus two, and attacks for... Yeah, so it's exactly the amount of mana. Goodbye. Ta-da! Look, we... um. So, I talked about having exact damage last game, and then we also had exact damage, so I apologize if... It looks like I was mad that we had exact damage and then we um, got good, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, it happens. It happens. 
So we got a Dominaria pack because we got five wins. So, so we got wins here. Do we have two wins now? Or is that one win? That's one win. So we're one and two for the day overall. I made that a one. Thank you. Thank you. One and two for the day overall. Got a lot of people that have started following us, of course, on Twitter and on YouTube and on Twitch. So we're growing. We're growing. And, of course, if you want to see me in person, you can come to GP Vegas on the June 15th weekend. I will be there walking around GP Vegas in a lab coat. You can catch me. I will sign some stuff for you. I'll talk about the arena. I'll talk about magic in general if you want me to. And uh, we'll have some fun. Maybe we'll even play some matches of Commander or Standard or whatever. Have you. I'll have all my decks on me. All my decks on me. We can have some fun. Currently waiting with no extra uh, tip there. There's no tip. Well, what, what kind of tips do we have for the people who know all the tips? I guess if you know everything, you don't have to be told what to do. So our opponent is Electric Jellyfish. I feel like I've played against this person before. Their name sounds very familiar. Uh, I go first. Sacred Cat into Odonto. We just need to draw green. It's possible. I want to keep it. I like Odonto Vanguard's turn two. You had to go to six. No, though I must also admit, my last brown opponent I think had to go to five. No, that was the red guy. Man, he still was able to do it, even on five. I mean, it's possible. You need to make sure you mulligan correctly. And then you will be able to maybe even play correctly. Oh, great. Land or Elves. That's a thing I haven't seen before. Would you like to block? I will play Adanto Vanguard. Alright, so we definitely need a forest now so we can get resilient Kenra online. Drop your 5-4. It's a Jade Light Ranger. That seems fine, too. Don't get bigger twice, please. Just draw lands. There you go. You drew a land and you revealed Rodus. Wow. Wow. Uh, so we hit the combat. Swing of the U. Nope. Ronus is definitely coming out next turn, which is neat. <clears throat> Our game has appeared to lock up. Sorry about that. Looks like we locked up there. Uh, don't know how that happens. I'm blaming Magic Gathering Arena for this. So we'll put out another bro. Switch the turn. They're going to play that. They're going to play Ronus. Or something bigger. That's four mana. I don't know what. Ripjaw Raptor? Revenge Impulse. Oh yeah, so they're definitely playing Ronus now. Steel Leaf Champion! Gross! They just dropped that. That seems better than Ronus at this point. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to drop is Steel Leaf Champion. Uh, they're going to attack with your Jade Light Ranger. Well, I think I want to take some damage here. What you got, man? Kill it! Drop your, drop your Steely Champion. Uh-huh. We already knew that was coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another Shaker Cat. Nice. Oh. Alright, so we're going to have to end the combat here. We can't do anything about the Steely Champion until... Oh my god, Rodus is going to come out. They can block. Oh! Two mana sucks. Two mana really sucks. Two mana hella sucks. I don't like it any more than you. But what are we going to do, right? Boom! Drop a Ronus. Ronus can block. I hate it. What, are you gonna, what can you drop for 5 mana in this deck? I'm really kind of curious. What does Mono Green drop for 5 mana? Or you can drop Territorial Allosaurus. That's a 5-5. Five, five. It's another white mana! What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Going wide! Oh, the 
this is the problem where we don't draw our green mana. I would like it if we drew green mana. But it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Why doesn't it happen? Rona C Indomitable, sure, so you can use it to give its ability to attack for 13 this turn. Look at that. That's exact damage. I mean, I can't block one, so I have to block the other. Which means... It doesn't have trample. So blocking it seems fine. Pump him. Go ahead. Make it a, make it do seven instead of, instead of five. Oh, wait. It makes a trample, too. I'm okay with that. Nice. Lots of damage. Appeal to authority. No! That could have helped us out a lot if we had green. But I think we're just dead. Dead to the board. Legal Eagle is now watching us. Thank you for watching us, Legal Eagle. We played some lands. We're getting losses. Two and two now. Two and two. Two and three on our actual loss record, if you want to know. Two and two on our matches for our quick constructed. Two and three for our actual win-loss record for the day. So there was a question asked on Twitter, which was, how much time, how many games do you play? Or not on Twitter, but it was part of the um, Magic the Gathering Arena uh, stream. Sorry, not stream, but uh, survey, which actually the question... How many games of Magic the Gathering Arena do you play a day? And my response was, well, I play about 20, because by the time I end, I end my streams, I usually have about 20 wins. Uh, or not 20 wins, but about, you know, over 8 wins, over 8 losses. It happens. It goes back and forth. And 50-50 is a decent win record. Decent, nearly decent. Starting to grow a beard here, and uh, you know, for experiments, just for fun, it's an experiment. It's the lab. The experiment is to try to grow a beard, and I keep wanting to touch it because it's so not itchy, but it's just ah. Well, wow, dusk would have helped back there on the last games. Woo! Knocking that board out would have been amazing. So turn one, we're gonna drop the cat. Oh, wait, we should drop the Sky Marcher Aspirin. That seems good. We'll attack for two instead of one. Oh, that requires a baffling game. Yep. Nope, get out of here. Playing cats, huh? I like cats. You can't get your baffler. You can't get your cannon out of here. What? That's weird. Sure. We dropped an Orn Pouncer. We dropped a Sacred Cat. Fill out the board! Yeah! What are you going to play now? All right. What? Seems like strange life gain deck? This is weird, man. I don't think I want to drop anything this turn. Like, I don't want to press the advantage here because I feel like they're going to drop something else on me. Like, approach or something? Pointed procession. Oh, what? That's a sacred cat. I uh, definitely should press the advantage now. Hmm. Block a thing take three still. In the second main, we're going to drop another cat. We're going to drop another cat. 
Why does the Dorn Pouncer have the kitty noise, but not the sacred cat? Like, the Dorn Pouncer should be the wow, and the kitty should be the Dornoiter Priest. That's not what we need. This is going to be really difficult to fight against this deck if we don't have any sort of way to make our creatures bigger. Uh, we have 10, so if we draw a part of Conquerors, we can do it. Oh my god, they're going to gain so much life. That's four life. We're going to get a send now. Definitely going to happen. Oh, gross. There's literally no way we can do this. We have to wait. We'll just attack him every turn. Thanks for the tip, Sonics. I appreciate that. Could have played a creature and get a send. Well, we're definitely on a send now. No! Are you serious, man? Wow, this deck is just going off. Can't. Oh, there's Pride of Conquerors. We have a send. It is possible. Oh, we are going to destroy some things and they're going to get it all back. Oh, God. Why? Oh, I know your procession's going to be so dumb. Oh. I guess we just end the turn. We literally can't do anything. Like, we have to get around them. And we can't get around them. Because if they make an order priest, they're going to make double an order priest. Hackers. No blockers. Oh, no, not Crested Sunmare. Man, I guess we're going to have to dusk it. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, my God, gain four life. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Oh. oh, this feels so bad. Oh, what do we do? Tagging with their... They played another Crested Sun Mary. Are you serious? Just... Just take it, man. Just take it with your crazy curves. There ain't no way we can get out of that. We just lost all of our wins to stupid stuff. All of our games to stupid stuff. Claim those prizes. <coughs> Excuse me. So what do we get? We get 300 gold. <coughs> Ruthless Knave. Destined to survive. Or lead. That's pretty good. And Tiana, Care Ships Taker. Okay. Okay. There's some combos with Tiana you can do. Well, clearly we need to play with our red-white historic deck again. Because I don't know what's going on with green-white. It's not working. So what's our pack in our pack of Dominaria? Let's open that real quick. Ooh, we got Ember and Three Wall. We got a common wild card. <coughs> Excuse me. And we got Jaya Zimmerling Inferno. Now we have four. Four Jaya Zimmerling Inferno. Sure. I guess that's okay. I mean, four seems not that good. That's why I run three. Quick draft of Rivals of Ixlam will be happening this weekend. We will be doing that. We're earning gold right now to try to get there. Uh, so. Let's see. Is Red White Historic still doing pretty good? I think so. Let's switch it back over to the regular list. We got Seal Aways. We have Uncommons now? We have an Uncommon. We can get another Seal Away. We already have three. Nice. Nice. I guess we can take out a Braid here. The Seal Aways is really good in this format. Uh, Danith is fine. Valduk is fine. Teshar is my boy. Really want to put some more Mox Ambers in here, but yeah, no. Kind of difficult. Versus Ruinous Blast helps helps a lot. All right, yeah. So let's play this again. We're running in with that red white historic in the quick instructor. We're paying those ninety five gems. 
We'll play another quick game or two, and then at 8 o'clock we'll take a quick break, and we'll come back and play some more, okay? So, Red, White, Historic, let's go. Jump into that combat there. Play match! So, our go first is Legion's Landing into Short Sword and Seal Away. Ooh, this is pretty good. I like it. Legion's Landing into Seal Away seems pretty good. So, if they attack us back with some creatures later, we can deal with that. We can also put the Short Sword on the creature. I think it's dope. We just need to draw another card, another land. And it's possible. Legion's Landing, go. Pass the turn, and you know. A creature. Oh, we drew another land. Sick! Short sword on the on the one one. Go, baby, go. Combat. Get in there. Give me my two. You can hit me with that, uh, you know. Hit me with that minus two, minus two all you want. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we want them to do. Because then we're going to play Danitha afterward. Hit me with that. Minus two, minus two. Yeah, there it is. I'm okay with that. Cool. Blockers, damage, second main, drop a Danitha. Which you will have to kill now, otherwise I will get her. Oh, he doesn't have one! Sick! Hmm. Yes! Alright. God, they don't have lands! Yes! We're gonna win this one! <laughs> That's sick. Oh, dang, son. Dang, son. Draxel's coming in. Can't wait for Traxos to get a better animation. He's so good. Oh my god, they just finally got something? Alright, so we're gonna Jaya's to untap Traxos. Jaya's two. Combat! Boom! Go down to two! Ooh, Traxos is a beating, isn't it? Or an Allegiance. Sure. Thank you, Seeker, that's fine. You say this if you weren't already dead. Karn? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's how we do it! We do it with Karn! Because Karn is awesome. Traxos is one of my favorite cards they've ever printed, just because of the fact, like, it's this huge creature. Like, the flavor on it is so good! It's this huge creature! Dragon Engine sits there! It's, it, it, it's, it hasn't woken up yet. You play something that's extremely amazing and cool like a legendary creature or sorcery or something and then it goes then it looks or like an artifact just anything and then it gets up and it's like i'm ready to fight for you and then it just runs over your opponent if they ain't got no way to kill it and there's a lot of removal in the format that that can't kill it because it's usually like you know burn or or minus uh minus and stuff like that it's just super sweet so we gotta win on there we went up to two four two four now we're up to three four yes Okay, they get to go first because they're looking at their hand, which means we need to go second. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, opponent goes first. What a surprise. Wow, this guy head is kind of garbage. Come on, Mulligan. Okay, that's kind of better. Sure. Sure. <laughs> this is going to be pretty hilarious. We're probably going to lose. But that's fine. That's just fine. That's the turn. If we don't lose, I'll be very surprised. Oh, black, black, blue. What a surprise. We can we can end that turn. Put a stop on their end step. Cycle this. My turn. Look at all this cool stuff here. Pass the turn, put another stop on their end step. We're doing it hard cool right now. We're gonna break the one of their catacombs. That's Karn. I we do that. Let's, uh, let's give them a moment of craving. You want to, like, put it out of blue for op? Is that what it is? I think we want to get a... I don't already got a plane, so let's get double met, double red going here. My turn. Talking about my turn. My turn. Ooh. Double cards. I will defend my ally. A curious <laughs> choice. Ooh, Black Blade and Lightning Strike. Ooh. Land Baron. You want to tick up or tick down here? You want to get back to Negate? Is that what the thing that you want? You want the Negate? You're gonna drop the Scarab God on me? Raska's Contempt! Oh, man! What a shame. So I'm actually not sure who's gonna win this one, but I like it. I'll make use of that later. Ooh, you wanna take a land? Champion Wits in the Graveyard seems to be... No, that's Exiled, so... That's fine. Valduk! Valduk, my boy! Urza's Ruinous Blast has to be cast if you have a legendary creature or planeswalker. Get back a card as negate! What a surprise! So I want to use the moment of craving here. I would love it if they just played a creature instead. That would be so good. Hmm, that's another car in there. Okay, so the gate's only gonna stop non creature spells. What about regular creature spells? Do you have any answers to that? They have Essence Scatter. That's fine. It's good to know. Hit me with that moment of craving, son.
You just let him take the damage? Nice! That's interesting. Let me get that negate out your hand. They looked at another card, so they probably have a second negate. Which is good. We've got a seal away in case they drop something huge. So if they want to attack us with it, it's going to be a little bit of an awakening for them. Sweet. Uh, let's take that and feel the ruin. You play or feel the ruin. Native clock might be also the time we feed cats too. I don't know for sure. It might be waking. I don't know. What's that? News, Liliana. Everyone. I've arrived. Make a zombie token! Is more loyal Lots of last record. What a shame there. So let's see if they have another counter spell. Let's look at that. Hmm? You got that second negate from your hand? Yeah, don't. Okay, I dig it. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me about pigeons. Do not talk to me about pigeons. Get back the black blade, but it's not going to be helpful at the moment. Good choice. Ooh, Legion's landing. Double Legion's landing! Yeah! Love that. So we'll just wait. I'm going to cycle that fetid pulls. This is going to be a really long game, guys. Sorry about that. But it'll take us to our next uh, break. So it'll be pretty cool. Another Vraska's Contempt. Because you know, that's what we do. Is Vraska's Contempt all day. Nice. Golden device and champion awaits, sure. How An excellent choice. Meh. Take the M new Rivulet. Play another card and get back the Scarab God, right? More lands! More lands! Let me play a Legion's Landing. And we'll end the turn. Man, oh man. Games like this take so long because the opponent just keeps thinking about so much stuff they want to do. You know, it's really weird when you had 
19 subscribers last weekend, and then you go back down to 16. It's like, hmm? Hmm? What happened? You gave me a land? Sure. It's like you shuffled your deck? Is that basically what you wanted to do? Return. Get the Scarab God! You casted him. Four mana so they can reanimate something at will! That's a whole me. Jaya's immolating inferno does nothing. That's right, it makes zombies. So you've got like this like zombie thing going on here. That's pretty cool. It's great combos. You got all the all the zombie combos to work in this deck. I'm I'm pretty impressed that you decided to go the route of zombies with the scarab god. You So at this point, I pretty much consigned myself to Oblivion, which is why I gave them the consign to Oblivion. And the reason why I did that is because I basically don't want this game to take any longer. So I'm trying to help them make it go faster. Doomfall, choose a card from my hand and they exile it. Well, I mean, I guess if you want to play that, sure. <clears throat> Can see what's in my hand, too. Yeah, Giants of the Millennium Inferno is pretty much the best target there.
Yep. Put it back into my hand. And then make me discard the other two cards so I have nothing else in my hand. I mean, that's the goal that I was trying to do this turn. I'm trying to make it easier for them to win the game. They're taking so long. I can cast the seal away on the Scarab God. Moral victory! Moral victory! Good game, sir. Good game. You got your uh, planeswalkers out, and I couldn't really do anything on them. So we're going to go take a quick break here. Going to do some stretching. Going to gonna, gonna take care of my body. And then I'll be back and we'll do some more gaming of Magic the Gathering Arena. Quick constructed. It's another loss we got to put on there. We're not doing too hot today. But, you know, some days you do really hot. Some days you do really not. Today is one of those really not days, you know. It happens. It happens in real life. It happens online. It happens everywhere. But you have to roll with it and know exactly when to get mad and when not to get mad. And this is definitely not a time to get mad. So... We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you, of course, everybody who are watching the stream.